it, it's like they're caged up animals at the zoo. Like, this is the, this is the small boat enclosure right here. You can see this one right here. Look at him. He's coming right up to the fence. I bought this boat over the winter and, and it hasn't gone out yet. I don't even know if it floats and I don't know if it's the right boat for me at all. I don't even know if I got everything I need to go out today. It's been a while since I've been out on the boat, but I think I got everything I need right here. Let me show you my stuff. All right, so first we got our clamp mount John boat seat. Got my go box. We'll talk about that a bit more. Got my paddle, got my water bottle, sunblock, some spare fuel, which I don't have a whole lot, but that's my two stroke mix fuel. Says so on the jug. Got my PFD, my anchor, and my wrench for tightening up the John boat seat. And I also think we're gonna take the trolling motor. That's all charged up and ready to go. Make sure we got our safety lanyard on our little Mercury here. So my go box here should have everything I need. Got some lines, got some safety things. Yeah, I need those. Fire extinguisher, there's even an anchor in here. VHF radio, it's charged up and ready to go. And I even got my boat registration paperwork right here. So I think we're good. I better go ahead and take these out right now. All right, let's get all of this in the boat. Wind is flipping me around here. I'm just gonna paddle myself out of the... Kind of wedged in here a little bit, there we go. And let's start with the trolling motor. Forward. All right, so far so good. Got a breeze going today. I tell you, I do like the trolling motors. I love the fact that it's completely quiet. When I'm running this little Mercury 2.5, it's not quiet at all. All right, we're getting blown around some now. All right, so first impressions. This boat is dry. It feels a bit more stable than the other one, the 12-foot boat. Actually, it feels quite a bit more stable, even though it doesn't have a flat floor. 
feels better. <laughs> and as with any aluminum boat, I don't know if this can pick it up, but there's always this, uh, literally sounds like water going down a drain across the bottom of the, bottom of the hull. Let's get our gas motor ready to go though. Turn on my fuel and open my vent. Oh, I heard the hiss. So that way it's kind of ready whenever I actually go to run her. I'll hook this onto something. I guess I'll hook it onto my PFD. Maybe I'll try to tip it up out of the way. There's nobody else around me. So I can run the, run the, run the mighty 2.5 Mercury for a couple minutes here. Bad thing about this Mercury is it starts in gear. So as soon as I get it running, it'll be propelling me forward. So, uh, I gotta be prepared for that. And the wind is blowing me around this morning. I'm sure some of you can relate. That's one of the things I've been dealing with a lot this year is that when I have time to go out, the weather doesn't want to cooperate. And here comes a gust. It's neat because you can watch the gusts of wind come across the water sometimes. Let's shut that bad boy down and let's see if we get some start here. So let's see, we're supposed to put it here. Got that on. Let's give it a pull. Oh, didn't have my choke on. Or did have my choke on. All right, hold on, let's see. What do we got going on here? There we go. See, the mercury makes so much more vibration and noise. Pop this boy out of here. Get it up out of the way. Get rid of our choke. Yeah, let's give it some beans. Why'd you cut out, buddy? What happened? So I wonder what made the mercury unhappy. I didn't check to see if the impeller was working, but I replaced that last year and we haven't run it that much. And I tested it in the can the other day. All right, let's give it some choke. Good call. Take some choke away. Yeah. Cap is vented. just doesn't want to stay running. All right, smart guys. What's wrong with this little mercury? Why is it starting and then cutting off right away, huh? What do we think, bad gas? I'm thinking it's bad gas. Let's go home with the motor that works.
Well, it's the next day, and I like this boat. I don't love this boat. It's not perfect. I don't like the fact that the benches were compromised. I originally was in love with the idea that these benches were storage. I actually miss the fact that they're integrated in part of the boat because that makes it a little more stable. And all the flotation was removed, which I think is a very negative thing to do in a small boat like this. As for the Mercury, well, I'm gonna have to do that in another video, figure out what the heck's wrong with that motor. But ultimately, I think this boat will replace my 12-foot boat because I don't really need both of them. As far as this trailer goes, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that either because I need to do some work to it to make it more accommodating for this boat. Or I sell it with the 12-foot boat and get a proper trailer for this one. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. And if you have some ideas about what to do with that Mercury 2.5 besides throw it away, let me know in the comments below. Thanks again, and here's a video pick just for you by the YouTube algorithm. They think that you would like this one, so, you know, give it a shot and stay safe out there in the water.